The government on Thursday, May 9th, introduced several pieces of bills before the National Assembly, among them being the Cannabis Bill 2019, which will in a sense provide the legal framework relating to the cultivation and use of marijuana in St. Kitts and Nevis. The Cannabis Bill 2019 provides for the regulation and control of cannabis for religious use by documented members of registered religious organizations to uphold the constitutional rights afforded to each citizen of St. Christopher Nevis, to establish the St. Christopher and Nevis Medicinal Cannabis Authority, to authorize medicinal and alternative health practitioners to recommend medicinal cannabis, to establish a scientific research protocol for medicinal cannabis, and to establish a licensing structure and complete tracking system for medicinal cannabis businesses. This too conforms with the report of the Caricom Marijuana Commission, which in like fashion recommended to Caricom Heads at a meeting of the heads in Jamaica that we need to move to make legislative changes to reflect a modern view of, the, of marijuana and its use. Our Commission has found that 63.1 of the participants of the prevalence of use survey wanted legislative change or amendments to the Drugs Act. And over 50% felt that marijuana should be decriminalized or legalized for medicinal purposes. Moreover, Prime Minister Harris noted that the necessary steps will be taken to ensure that this bill also protects youths, tightens on the regulatory system, and modernize and strengthen penalties for criminal offenses. The bill, of course, will ensure protection of our young people. And so there's a prescribed age that has been identified in the bill having regard to the benefit of medical science and the impact of marijuana and young people. And the bill will tighten the regulatory system and modernizes the legislative arm. During the February 20, 2019 sitting of the National Assembly, Prime Minister Dr. Timothy Harris then announced to the nation that his cabinet had unanimously accepted 13 of the committee's recommendations, which included an amendment to the Drugs Act having a regard to scientific developments since the act was passed in 1986, as well as the use of cannabis and its derivatives for medicinal and scientific purposes permitted under license and a strict legislative regime. He referred to the Cannabis Bill as a reformist and enlightened piece of legislation that appropriately responds to the will of the population. While countries before us, for example, Jamaica, Antigua and Barbuda, St. Vincent and the Grenadines have passed the aversion of the Cannabis Bill, our bill, when it comes to committee, will grant legislative approval for and regulate the use of cannabis for medicinal, for religious, and recreational purposes. In other words, we have cut across the three broad gamut that had been the subject of discussion regionally and elsewhere with respect to the issues to do with marijuana. And we want to make it clear that with respect to the use for, relig for recreational purposes, this of course will only be countenanced in the context of the use in the privacy of one's home. And so that aspect of it will, once we get to the legislative agenda, will no longer be considered a criminal offence. The decision to present the cannabis bill arrived at following a consultative process led by the St. Kitts Nevis National Marijuana Commission over a 16-month period. As part of its recommendations to the cabinet, the Marijuana Commission called the creation of a massive public messaging program prior to any changes in the law and continuing thereafter informing the public of the benefits and risks and the potential harm to young persons regarding the use of cannabis. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline.